Hi everyone, welcome to the Scott Family Kitchen. Uh, we wanted to share with you, hey Christy, uh, our other child is over here playing with Legos because you know, uh, molten hot sugar and peanuts don't really mix with a two-year-old. Uh, we wanted to share with you a, a uh, family recipe and uh, just tradition of baking. And so we're gonna make some peanut brittle because it's just the best. And um, mm -hmm. yes. Elliot, what are you dressed up as right now? Um, we're going to play um, the game of when Jesus was born, and I'm going to be the wise man. And I'm going to be the angel. Nice. Should be, should be super fun. Yeah. And then, is it Theo going to be something? He's going to be... Jesus. No. Yeah. Maybe. He's going to be the baby. Is he going to be baby Jesus? Mm -mm. We're still in the casting process for that, so it'll and, and, be too be determined. Mommy Joseph. Better than the donkey, I guess. So uh, let's let's go ahead and dump our ingredients in here. There's only four ingredients in this thing. Uh, it's peanuts, and you need to make sure you get raw peanuts, not cooked. Even though honey roasted are un unquestionably the best kind of peanuts that you can buy, um, uh, make sure you get raw peanuts and then dump those in. So Asher's going to dump them in here. Great Asher, and I'm going to put the recipe up now. And then Ellie's Daddy. gonna dump our sugar in. And Daddy can dump the fun in. Yeah. Because I don't want to get my hands sticky again. You got your hands really sticky the first time, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was better than when we were painting our house here. What did you do, Ashley? Sure. I stick my hands in white paint, and then Daddy won me over to this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because because we had help paint the corner. And yeah. And then Asher went over to the white paint. You did it. He didn't know that he was get, it was gonna. He, I think he knew that it was gonna get his hand all white. But um, I just think he went to see what it was like. So he dunked his hand in, and and I was over watching someone else. And and I turned around and I was like, Asher dunked his hand in paint. And then Daddy, so Daddy took him to the sink. Yeah, you were yeah, only, you were only two, Asher. It's amazing how no, few, how many fewer instances of getting sticky things no, on people's hands have happened in a family with three boys. But, you know. No, so, <clears throat> we got our main ingredients here. No, uh, we saved the baking soda for the end. And you need to make sure before you get this on the stove cooking that you have a pan ready to receive it or maybe multiple pans. I might actually put together another one because this is going to probably be a lot. Okay. Um, so this is just a 9 by 13 that we put aluminum foil on and then sprayed with cooking spray to keep it um, greased in there because this is going to be super sticky at the end. And when it starts going, you need to be able to work quickly. So get that ready ahead of time before you do it. So we're going to transition this to the stove and I'm going to move the kids over there so they can... Uh, so they can serve. Okay, we're transitioning here to the oven. We're gonna start stirring. We just kinda got it on like medium high heat. And this is gonna go for a little while. And so you need to make sure you stir it. Um, you don't really have to stir it constantly, but you wanna be checking it. Um, and what you're looking for, you could use a candy thermometer. We've never done that really in my family growing up. Um, it was always just kinda by whatever it looked like. And <laughs> she's trying to open a cabinet with his foot here um but it's gonna get like it's gonna get bubbly and it's gonna get really shimmery and kind of silvery as it's cooking and then after a while it's gonna like very quickly turn kind of nice golden brown color and that's when you want to um, throw in the baking soda mix it together just a couple times to get it all incorporated and then dump it out very quickly because then it's gonna um, start to burn uh very soon after that and you definitely don't want burnt peanut brittle. So just watch it and then I'll try to do a little time lapse here so you can see what's happening on ours and then uh, when we get to the right color we'll kind of break back in. Here we go.
So this batch has been going for about a little over 20 minutes and we're nearing the end, I think, but this is a time where you need to just be paying attention and watching the color and everything. So um, we can smell the peanuts cooking and we can notice that the, even the color of the peanuts has changed where they were kind of white and raw before. Now they're getting to be a little bit more toasted and, and kind of golden color. And then the syrup, if you lift this spatula up, Elliot, then you can see the syrup itself is, it's not clear anymore from the corn syrup. Um, it's starting to get caramelized here. And so that's what you're looking for. We're gonna let it go a little bit longer and then we're gonna put in our baking soda. Uh, but obviously be very careful because it's super hot and molten sugar is never good, especially with the babies. Okay, so we have our uh, baking soda ready. And remember we had our pan ready from earlier, so everything's set up for when this thing is ready to go. All right, here we go. Oh, watch out, watch out. Okay, so it is nice and dark golden colored. So I'm gonna put in the baking soda, which is gonna make it explode everywhere. Enough, and then mix it in quickly. It's gonna release a whole bunch of gas that's going to help it kind of foam up a bit. And yeah. I'm gonna bring it over here because it's gonna get big crazy. Yeah. And then. Everything's very hot. Watch out, boys. Uh, and in the advice from my dad, who made this so much growing up, um, is don't just like let it go wherever it wants. Don't try to smush it. Don't squeeze it because then you're just gonna crush all the bubbles and like then you don't have really great peanut bread. So this is our family peanut brittle. We're gonna let that cool. Um, this was also used by one of my science teachers when I was in third grade as a demonstration on how igneous rock was made, which was really cool. And then we got to eat candy in school, which is awesome. So um, yeah, you know, homeschooling, whatever. Uh, all right, we're gonna let this cool. We're gonna eat that. Well, hey, thanks everybody for checking out the video. Thanks for participating in the advent box if you've been doing that. And if not, then just enjoy this recipe for peanut brittle. Um, we hope that you have a Merry Christmas. We love you and we're so thankful for uh, your investment in our ministry. We're thankful for um, you being a part of our lives. We're just grateful for you. So have a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Tuesday in Peekaboo. Tuesday, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Enjoy your peanut brittle. Let us know how it works out. Mm -hmm.